Christmas has arrived at Foot Trading and we are giving away 12 incredible prizes for the 12 days of Foot Trading this year, culminating in a PlayStation 5. But we're also giving away an Xbox Series S amongst a ton of other incredible prizes. Nearly £1,500 worth of prizes being given away to subscribers. So if you want to get involved in the giveaways, all you've got to do is sub to the website. You will make millions of coins. We'll teach you how to craft packs. You'll be able to enter the tournaments for cash prizes and get some incredible giveaways over Christmas. Check out Foot Trading, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to this new video. I'm Fuzzball40. If you can drop a like and a comment on this video, it makes a huge difference. It really does help the video get pushed out to more people. Check out Foot Trading. We're giving away 12 prizes, including a PS5 and an Xbox Series S for Christmas. You'll support our content, but you'll also make millions of coins as well. Um, but we are looking at, again, some fantastic content on this game. Like week after week, EA have smashed it. It is such an enjoyable game in terms of the menu grinding. I get the gameplay is iffy. Um, if you want to watch me menu grind, if you want to watch me trade, I'm always live on Twitch directly after these videos. The link is down below. Tonight, we're going to be investing in Sunday Flip. So if you want to get involved in that, come over. The full list will be on the website. But EA yesterday dropped a really, really good SPC again, the Radioactive Crafting Upgrade. I am a massive fan of this because it really does improve the grind for what I'm doing with Mbappe. Now, I'm going to try and bring out some videos more where I'm showing you me crafting Mbappe and doing this and that. It's difficult, though, because it depends on the time that I'm doing something as to whether I'm going to complete him a segment of him or not, okay? But it is what it is. Either way... A lot of people have asked how to complete this radioactive crafting upgrade and the simple answer is there are two ways that you can complete it. Do not just use coins to get this completed. It is a stupid thing to do and it's a waste of time basically. The radioactive crafting upgrade comes in at about 5k, give or take, maybe a little less, maybe a little more depending on how lazy you are, okay? So for 5k you're getting yourself a radioactive crafting upgrade which is three gold players. I'm going to be doing this by completing my premium mixed league upgrade the exact same way that I do it normally. So I'm going to do BPM, silvers, into golds, complete this. And any duplicates, any female players, um, any players from leagues that aren't being used in other SBCs are going to go into it. But if you want to do it from scratch, the best way that you can do it is utilizing the mixed league upgrade. Now the mixed league upgrade costs... If you're smart about the way you buy players and smart about the way you do it, which I explain in a second, you can complete this for under 10k. If you're doing bids and stuff like that, under 10k for this whole SBC. It's so cheap to do. Even if you don't want to do that and you want to be lazy and spend 12, 13, 14k, it's still better to do it this way, okay? MLS and the EFL Championship. There are a few MLS players that are basically gold cards at discard price that essentially are able to bang that rating right up. So you've got the likes of Chiellini. Um, I'll show you now so you've got a rough idea of um, who to look for. But if we go League MLS. This is just a little tip for how to bring down the cost of it, basically. We'll go Gold. So we've got that. So if you go and look at the Gold cards in this, right? Forget Busquets and stuff like that. You've got the likes of Insigne. You've got the likes of Vela. You've got the likes of Chiellini. You've got Reynoso. You've got guys here that are basically discard price, but bang the rating right up. What it will allow you to do is use in this is the MLS one, not this one. It will now enable you to use quite a few of the bronzes, which really whacks down the cost of this SBC. This one's a piece of piss. Again, a couple of two or three Saudi golds, the rest can be bronzes, easy as that. But the reason why you do this is let's say you do spend 12K, let's average out a 12K for someone being relatively diligent but not being ridiculous, okay? At the end of that 12K, you get a small prime silver players pack and a gold pack tradable, okay? You then also get an MLS and EFL Championship Premium Mixed Players Pack Reward, a Premium Gold Pack Reward, and at the end of this, you also get yourself a small Rare Gold Players Pack. Now, let's look at worst case scenario, okay? Worst case scenario, you get Discard Silvers from this, which is going to give you 1,500 coins, I believe it is. And the Gold Pack, you'll probably end up at worst case scenario looking at about 3,000 coins, okay? Worst case. So that's 4,500 coins. Take that off of the 12,000 coin spend you spent originally and you're looking at, quick math, 7.5k spend. So for 2.5k more, you are getting a radioactive crafting upgrade, the small rare gold pack you get from this, the premium gold, the premium mixed, the gold pack and the small prime silver players pack for 2.5k more. Now, realistically, 
you're going to pack more than that in these packs. You're not always going to have worst case scenario. The average when I did this as a grind, the average that I got back from these two packs was about 6 to 7k. Unless you hit a bit of fodder or a decent card that sort of bangs it up. It was about 6 to 7k by the time I sold all those cards. So your radioactive crafting upgrades are essentially free. Now, you've got to look at it this way. Forget these guys because you're selling them. You're guaranteed at least three gold cards from the premium gold pack. You're guaranteed at least four from the premium mixed players pack. So that's obviously seven. And then you're guaranteed another six from the small rare gold pack. Now, obviously, you're not going to want to put in 82 pluses into it. You don't need to use that as fodder for anything else. But you're guaranteed that from this SBC, no matter what happens. Okay, so you get 13 players. So every four that you do, you get an extra free radioactive crafting upgrade. Now, the reason why this SPC is so good is because that isn't the end of it. I don't know, some of you will know, some of you won't know, but in the milestones, you have the radioactive crafting upgrade milestone objective, okay? We'll go down to it. So, for basically what is maximum of 2.5k spend for each time you complete it, you're also going to get yourselves an 83 plus pick, a small prime gold players pack, a rare gold pack, a premium gold players pack, an 80 plus times 10. An 84 plus times 2, a 50k pack, 83 plus times 5, 81 plus times 11, and an 85 plus times 2, and a 100k pack. That is absolutely insane for a 2.5k spend maximum at a time. That is a ridiculous amount of crafting you're going to get done to go towards Mbappe, which is what I'm doing, Dalglish if you want to craft him, or any other players that you want to just improve your team gradually. Why I... I'm doing it my way is I would rather at the same time get Mbappe done by doing it my premium mixed league upgrade way, okay? Now, the premium mixed league upgrade, what I tend to do with this is anyone that I get duplicate, I will go into the radioactive crafting upgrade, but I also keep all the players from the mixed league upgrade, okay? So the two quickest ways to get this done, the first is essentially to buy at the right points. So if you're going to buy a gold card, you buy them at 6pm, okay? That's when it's cheapest because everyone's packing car cards from promo packs or whatever, okay? The Libertadores and Sudamericana cards, you always bid or snipe. You don't buy them up. You don't need to do that. But if you can buy them en masse on a Thursday, that's even better. Or any day we get Silver Supply, we might get some tonight. Same for the Ligue and the Eredivisie. Eredivisie, I don't do for this one. I never do them. Those goals will go into the Radioactive Crafting Upgrade. But again, in this one here, you're going to get loads of untradeables. So you can really work the grind twice. Let's say, for example, you're doing it from scratch and on the premium mixed league upgrade, you're going to spend because you can get it done for about 25k, give or take, if you're smart with your time. 25,000 coins. In that, you can get a jumbo gold pack, which again averages out about 5 to 7k at bare minimum, at absolute worst. That tends to be about 5 to 7k. And you're going to get yourself a small prime gold players pack, which guarantees you, I think, an 80 rated um, as a minimum. Again, so if you're 25k spend you're going to get probably, give or take, I'd say 15k back, maybe 10 to 15k, depending on how bad your pack luck is. 10 to 15k back. But you're also going to get all of these packs here, these guys here, and a prime gold players pack. Those cards can then be thrown into the mixed league upgrade, which will pretty much be doing for free, because you'll be able to do some BPM if you wanted to, to put stuff in your club. And then that mixed league upgrade gets thrown back into the radioactive crafting upgrade again. And if you get some decent cards for the premium mixed league upgrade, it cycles round and round. So in my opinion, that's how I'm going to be approaching it, I think. I probably will still do bronze packs into silvers into golds, but I probably will focus hot heavily on premium mixed league, into mixed league, into radioactive crafting upgrade, into premium mixed league, mixed league, repeat, and go on and on and on. The thing about it is, EA also chucked out some insane upgrades yesterday. The premium bronze upgrade and the premium silver upgrade, they dropped those yesterday. So for your normal two silvers you get, you're actually getting four in the premium bronze upgrade. Now, admittedly, they aren't rare. They're, they're commons, but that doesn't really matter because you can use gold rares anyway. But you're getting four silvers now, so you're getting double the amount. And in the premium silver upgrade, you're getting five common golds rather than three common golds. It is unbelievable how much you can craft and grind on this game now. It is a joke. There is, it is full of crafting opportunities. And I believe that anyone that is still going now for Mbappe can complete him using these things here. I mean, these premium bronze upgrades and the premium silver upgrades are here for 48 days, which is great. And the radioactive crafting upgrade is here for another 19 days. So essentially, you need to complete five a day 
in order for you to compete overall, you shouldn't have a problem doing that. Think about it this way. If it's a two and a half K spend on the mixed league upgrade, each time you do it, by the time you sell everything in it, basically it's two and a half times 100, which is where you're gonna be at, which is two and a half thousand, 25,000, 250,000 coins. Most people can get hold of that relatively easy if, over the course of the next 19 days. You shouldn't have a problem doing it and it's gonna massively help that Mbappe grind. I don't think it's coincidence that they both end on the same day, realistically. But that's how I go about crafting the radioactive uh, crafting upgrade. I don't see a reason why you can't get them all done. It's really simple. Utilize whichever methods there that you like. I'll be live on stream if you want to go over it. Um, I'll be able to help you guys as much as possible. Like I say, check out Foot Trading. We're giving away 12 incredible prizes, including a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series S. But that's the end of the video. I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.